engage with the moment and have a damn good time. In fact, make it an engagement party. You guys, I'm engaged <laughs> with the moment. Oh, uh, uh, what? Yeah. Okay. That's right. You gotta love the moment. Put a ring on it. Because the truth is, you can feel. Make the book an account of my engagement with this story, rather than claiming to have. Walk. We want to create an emotional freedom and engagement and ease. They want to stand and make the coffee and, and talk to you at the same time, and then they turn back. If they happen to ever turn their back, then it, then we do make sure that the, that people see that we have the best espresso this side of Milan. This kind of rapport with chirpy baristas is a far cry from the British service culture of yesteryear. Service is now a competitive advantage, and if you think about how the you know the ante is absolutely being upped, and the service standards have improved in the UK, coffee shops have definitely been an important part of that. By the time the new millennium dawned, we had been seduced. We discovered that we could sit for hours nursing a single cup of coffee. Coffee shops created more places for people to stop and to take time to snack, You'd use their uh, ever-growing laptops and computers at the time. We even learned a whole new language, just so we could put in our order. One shot. Flat white. Chai tea latte. Soy latte. Espresso. Mocha. Americano. Cappuccino. Chai latte. A one shot decaf cappuccino. Starbucks had brought to the UK a cornucopia of drinks that were already selling well in the US, but were unheard of over here. Our number one drink is our skinny latte, and that remains pretty constant right through the year. At Christmas time, we have those really indulgent Christmas offerings that our customers love. But in the summertime, hopefully we'll get another great summer as we did last year, ice drinks become a very important part. And our frappuccinos now become really quite famous and something that our customers come in time and time for. We lapped up Starbucks concoctions, so not surprisingly, Starbucks style drinks have also appeared on its competitors' menus. If we see that something that's working, then, you know, our customers will be asking for it too. So clearly we would rather them come to us for that drink than anywhere else, so we give customers what they want, absolutely. If somebody from 25 years ago walked into a modern cafe, they'd be completely bewildered by the range of drinks on offer, all the different foreign names, all the different sizes, all the different combinations, the skinny, the full fat, the soya, the syrups. And once you've managed the difficult job of deciding which drink you want, there's one more hurdle to negotiate. What size do you like? If the drinks are confusing, then the cup sizes are a nightmare. So, on the off chance that you don't know your grandes from your primos, I present the Idiot's Guide to Coffee Sizing. At Café Nero, there are three no-nonsense sizes, the small, regular and grande. At Costa, you've got the primo, the medio and the massimo. And at Starbucks, there's the tall, grande and venti. And here's one more that you may not have heard of, the Starbucks short. One of the interesting deals available at Starbucks is the secret cappuccino, the, the, the coffee... That